If you've got a California trimmer reel mower or you're thinking about getting one, I'm going to show you four ways you can adjust your chain length to your drive roller. This is your drive roller. And for many years, California Trimmer has used a chain to raise and lower that drive roller. I mean, it's simple, it's strong, it's durable, but there's one downside to it. You can't adjust this chain. So I'm gonna show you four ways that you can. And you can see right here, I have already got one in place. This is an adjustment that I made after using the mower for some time. You can see I've got a zip tie in there just bringing the chain up one link and so far that has been working just fine but one time when I had it like this that zip tie snapped on me. So I got to thinking there has to be another way and I reached out to the folks at California Trimmer and sure enough there's not just another way there's three more so let's go through those other options before we get too deep into things let's talk about why you would want to shorten the chain in the first place well you would really want to shorten the chain if you were mowing at the higher cut settings so at those higher cut settings the mower is tilted back just a little bit more that way it can bring the roller on the front closer to the ground so when you're mowing at those higher cuts, when you lift the drive roller, it's not very far off the ground. And I noticed this when I first started using the mower at that higher cut setting, that when I was making my turns with that roller not very far off the ground, it was kind of digging into the turf. And that was my first indication that, hey, I need to find a way to shorten this chain to bring that roller up off the turf just a little bit more. And therefore I came up with the zip tie. All right, here's option number two for you. You're just pulling links together on the back side. Now do this with the chain slackened and the roller down using a standard number 10 by one and a half inch or one and three quarter inch screw with a lock nut. Just put it through the link roller spaces to hold it in place. Now, when you do this adjustment, you have to make sure that the drive roller still contacts the ground enough to provide the propulsion you need and not slip in place when in the lowered position. And the same objective applies if you're using the zip tie technique, and I kind of learned that the hard way. Uh, last season, I was mowing at the higher cut setting, and I started mowing at a lower cut setting this year and just by doing that it brought the drive roller a little bit further off the ground when in the raised position uh, i kind of overestimated the first time i used a zip tie on how much i needed to shorten the chain and i shortened it by two links and when i did that i noticed on my not so perfectly smooth but rather bumpy lawn there were spots where the drive roller was just too high and slipping in place and i realized pretty quickly that i'd shorten it too much and i needed to shorten it by one link instead of two and when i did that it made all the difference in the world so you got to kind of find that sweet spot on how much to shorten your chain because you want to make sure the drive roller is on the ground at all times but you also want to make sure you don't shorten it too much and then when you raise the roller it comes into contact with the frame here. So you gotta be wary of that as well. There you go, folks. Two simple but effective ways to shorten the chain on your California trimmer. But believe it or not, there are two much more functional ways and they both involve this bracket right here. The folks at California Trimmer were kind enough to send me this for free to try it out for them. It's something they've been working on for some time now. They've got them in limited quantities and plan on doing much more. But in the meantime, they did tell me that if you're interested in testing one out as well, to shoot them an email at info at caltrimmer.com and they may just send you one to test run like I'm going to. So, this one bracket used two different ways to shorten the chain on your California trimmer, and I'm going to show you how to do them both. The first thing we've got to do is disconnect our chain here so we can mount the drive roller lift bracket to this fulcrum connector. Now, 
Now that we got that popped off, let's just remove our chain here. Set those pieces down on the ground. We're going to take the drive roller lift bracket and position it there. And just put the screw and the lock nut that comes with it through there and tighten everything down. Okie dokie. Before we move any further, let me make one important correction. You see how the bracket is sticking straight out to the left instead of dangling downward? Yeah, well, it shouldn't be that way. I'm a dummy and I way over tightened it like I way over tightened everything and I didn't realize it until much later in the day when I was messing around with the chain. Common sense should have told me that it should swing more freely in a downward position, but I missed it. So throughout the rest of the video, just ignore the fact that it's way over tightened because if you get one, you want it to swing freely downward because when it does that, that's the way it will function 100% correctly and it will be much easier for you to set the chain at the length you want it. Once you've got the bracket attached, you're ready to begin with your first of two options and that one being using the original chain. So I've gone ahead and reassembled that with the piece that I popped off there and we're going to take the original chain along with a pin that comes with the bracket and we're going to insert the chain into the bracket. Now here again this is where you're going to have to play with how many links you want to bring it up depending on your lawn but this pin will go in a front to back position through the hole there at the bottom of the bracket and all you have to do is secure that into place and there you go. It is assembled with the original chain and when you lift the drive roller up you're all finished. Now notice one minor drawback to this option. You can see excess chain hanging out over the other side. Now depending on how much you shorten it you will have more chain or less and if that really just drives you crazy, well, then option number two is using a shorter chain, which I've gone ahead and gotten one so I can show you that. So let's get right to it. All I've done is gone ahead and removed the original chain and attached the new shorter one. Now, you don't have to go out and get a new shorter chain. In fact, if you have the right tools, you can shorten the original one. But I just wanted to have a new one on hand to show you how it works with this new bracket. So just like we did before, we will bring our chain up to the bracket. But unlike last time, we will not be going from front to back with our pin. Instead, we will be going from side to side. And we won't be using the same pin as we did before. We will use a different one for this application. And see these holes here? I may end up having to play around with which hole I go through after I mow a few times. But for now, that one looks good. Make sure the pin goes all the way through the chain and out the other side and we will secure it down just like we did last time. And there we go, all finished up with a newer, shorter chain on the bracket. And look how much cleaner that is. So if you don't like the idea of extra chain links hanging over, this is your way to go. Option number two with the new roller lift bracket. All right, my friends, that is pretty freaking awesome. Look, the, the zip tie is okay. I'm sure the screw works just fine, but this new bracket is going to be a game changer. So if you've been hesitant to consider a California trimmer because you've heard stories about the drive roller scuffing up the turf, or maybe you've got one, it just frustrates you, let me tell you from experience that getting that drive roller up just a pinch makes all the difference in the world and this new bracket is going to make it easier for that to happen. Really appreciate the folks at California Trimmer for sending this my way to test drive for them. Thank you so much and thank you to you for being here to watch this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below. If you're not subscribed already, consider hitting that button and doing so. If you are, thank you. You know how much I appreciate you being here. And I hope when we do this again next time, you'll be there too.